Hello everybody! Welcome to this little video tutorial from CJ Knits. I wanted to uh, share with you the technique of how to Kitchener stitch. So normally I'm using this when I'm knitting a cuff down sock and am ready to close up the toe, which I am um, ready to do here with my um, Hedgehog Fibers Hermione Everyday Socks. So this is the um, Monarch colorway, which is just this beautiful kind of peachy undertone with the yellow and bright pink and some black speckles in it. So, and you can see I have my sweet little progress keeper here of the little gnome girl. So here we go, Kitchener Stitch. So um, I knit my socks magic loop, so you can see I have the top um, stitches. I've got 12 stitches here. I've got the top stitches on one needle and the bottom stitches on the other, both 12 stitches on each needle. And I'm starting out with my um, working yarn in the back. And so what I want to do is come into this first stitch as if to knit. Um, I've got about a 12, 18 inch long um, end of my yarn on a tapestry needle. So I put it in the first stitch as if to knit and pull that off. And then I go into the second stitch as if to purl. And I'm going to leave that one on. So you can see I don't pull it super snug, but I want to get it reasonably kind of tight there. And then in the back stitches, I go into the first stitch as if to purl. So I'm leaving that one on there. I go in the first stitch as to purl in the back. And I'm going to take that one off. The next stitch as if to knit. And leave that one on. And you just want to be sure that your yarn staying kind of in between these two needles here. So um, similar meth method as, uh, as we move on here. So front stitch, go in as if to knit, pull it th the yarn through, um, pull that stitch off, go into the second stitch as if to purl, leave it on. Back stitch as if to purl, pull that one off. Second stitch in the back as if to knit and leave that one on. And I'm kind of just snugging up a little bit as I go. So I just keep doing that all the way across. Front stitch as if to knit, off, purl. And leave that one on. Back, purl, off, knit, leave that one on, knit, off, purl, on. Pearl off, knit on. So I just keep doing this one until I get to the very end. And then when I get to the very end, I'm just gonna I'm just going to pull my needle right on through. So I always say this to myself: knit off, purl on, purl off. Get this cleaned up. knit on. And you can see 
how it just kind of makes those stitches continue on around. So I'll go ahead and finish this up. Knit off, purl on, purl off. Knit on, knit off, purl on, purl off, knit. Knit off, pearl on, pearl off, knit. It gets a little fiddly when you get down the last couple of stitches. getting close here I'm trying to hold it as still as possible to keep from um, losing it off the screen but when I get to this point I just kind of separate those two needles a little bit to try to make it a little easier um, to get into the stitches Off, pearl, on, pearl, off. Knit, on, oh, sorry. And then, so for these last two, front one, I do knit and off, back one, purl, off, and then I kind of run my hand up in the sock here, and then right here where you see there's kind of that loop, I kind of want to pull that loop through, so there's kind of an opening, it's like a decent opening right here. So I just take my needle and pull it on through. And then I can kind of take the end of the tapestry needle and push that on through there too. But it gives you a really nice, clean kind of edge. Um, if you're somebody who kind of wears out the toes of your um, socks you can go onto the inside and maybe just leave an extra instead of 18 inches for your tail take 24 inches for your tail and then you can go on the inside and duplicate stitch across you know these last um, four or six rows here two or three stitch two or three rows on either side and that kind of helps enforce it too but I am so happy with this first sock and I'm definitely going to be working on the second sock very soon here to get at least one full pair done for Socktober. So hopefully you enjoyed um, this tutorial and it was helpful for you. Um, if you liked it, please let me know on our Ravelry group and um, if there's any other specific techniques you'd like to learn, let me know and I'll try to um, do some quick tutorials for that too. So until next episode, happy knitting!